Okay, you guys. So my dogs and I are sitting here on the floor as we start this video because uh, we, in the start of this video, we're going to begin by tackling this coffee corner. It is such a freaking disaster for someone who loves coffee and loves her coffee mugs and takes pride in her coffee mugs. The disaster that's over here is an absolute shame. So hello, <laughs> welcome to a new vlog where we do all things in life that are mundane and boring, but we do them together because that's what makes it fun. I have a lot of other things I would like to clean and take care of in this vlog. So whether we get them done tonight or I finish them up tomorrow, it'll all be in this vlog. This will be a little cleaning inspiration for you guys. So if you guys will hang out with me, subscribe for more, and let me just, let me just pull back the curtain. Here we have it. So it doesn't look that bad, right? I mean, just horrible. <laughs> I don't even know. We got fun. Also, I'll show you down in here because this is also a mess. I have so many mugs, you guys. So many mugs. Check out Jeff. He's so amazing. So many mugs. So little time. Oh, yeah, that's the Christmas mug that left. That was left out. All right, I know I've already said welcome to this video, but welcome to this cleaning video. I hope that it brings you guys some motivation to get some cleaning done around your house or apartment or wherever you live. Also, the pile of coffee mugs I just pulled out of my cabinet is impressive. I would say shameful, but I have no shame for my coffee collection. I love my coffee mugs. Oh, and I finally fixed that shelf because it was bothering me that it was really high on one side and low on the other. So I finally fixed it and it was super easy. It took me four seconds. Isn't that how it always goes? Something you put off forever when you finally choose to do it. It takes you like 0.2 seconds. That's how it always goes for me. Okay, so if you've ever wondered how many coffee cups I have, just out that I can see, 35. And that includes the dirty ones over there. But let me show you the after. Honestly, like look how much better that looks. Oh, and there's no coffee grounds everywhere, which was really what was bothering me. All right, so the only thing I'm going to get rid of is this Hershey's Milk Chocolate Hot Chocolate Bomb. These are not good. Whoever makes these and doesn't put hot chocolate in them, not a good idea. Look, talking to you, Hershey's, it's not good. Okay, so here's the after. Honestly, it feels better to me. So, if you have been watching my videos, you probably notice that there is something missing over here that used to be here, and that is our dining room table, because that dining room table has been a part of Garrett's life for as long as he can remember and definitely for as long as I can remember. It was absolutely falling apart. Like we tried to fix it so many times and it just has worn down that anytime you touch it, it's like, like not an exaggeration. Like it is so freaking wobbly. A very open carpet. This is the perfect time to give her a really good deep clean. One rug, dude. That's disgusting. All right, you guys ready to see this one again? All right, not so bad. Not too shabby. Okay, while I have the vacuum out, I'm just gonna vacuum this rug in the living room, and then we'll get started with the cleaning. That is disgusting. Got my. I'm gonna start with this guy because he's a little bit bigger. And this one you can like rotate it to like have the side that you want. I gotta tell you guys, I really love my carpet cleaner. Honestly, I don't know why I don't do it more often. Isn't that the theme of this video today? But I know exactly why I don't do this carpet cleaner more often. One thing I wish is I would have gotten the standing one, but we just don't have enough room in our apartment for the standing one. So this little like portable one will do for now, but I would like the big one. Okay, I ran out of water. Let me show you how gross this is. Oh shit, okay, I done this out, hold on. Give you guys an up close view of what I'm doing because it's pretty gnarly. Here we go. Okay. 
I love the way that that looks when you're like cleaning it, the water and the dirt like filling up or going through the nozzle. I started out this video with that triangular one and just realized I really enjoy this smaller one much better. And also look at that dirty water like sloshing around in there. Oh, that's so gross. But honestly, I kind of love it. It's really satisfying. It's like those pimple popping videos you know what I'm talking about where like you hate the way that it looks, but like you can't turn your eyes away because you are like, wow, this is so interesting to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about watching like the dirty water and like knowing how much dirt was there. Also, this rug way easier to clean. I think maybe because of the lighting in the living room, even though it's horrible for videos, uh, just like was like a beaming spotlight down on the rug. So I can tell where I had been. And the one in the dining room took me longer because I was like, did I touch that spot? I don't know. I did. And then I spilled dirty water ever, everywhere. It was a whole thing in the dining room, but she got through it. Um, but yeah, you know what I should have done when I was filming or cleaning this part? Just move the rug. Instead, I just like contorted my body around. Oh, and I also had just a little bit of cleaner left. So I decided to just hit the couch and then I ran out like halfway through, but I was not going to refill it to do more. I ran out of water halfway through, but that's just enough for today. I'm going to clean this out. Let me show you how I do it. Also, look how much better it looks. You probably can't tell, but I can tell. Also, I do believe this is like the fifth or sixth one of these that I pulled out. Disgusting. All right, I'm going to clean this guy out. We're moving on to the bathroom. The current state is uh, not great. I threw a whole bunch of laundry or towels in the washer and dryer, but let's get going. There we go. Here's the bathroom, way better. It's not perfect, but it's, it's better. Let me show you the no laundry in the corner. Beautiful. All right, so it's officially time to move on to the next day where I continued cleaning. So I started out with the dishes because we had quite a bit of dishes that I needed to get done. And then I moved on to laundry because I needed to fold and put away three loads of laundry. Spoiler, I have one more load waiting to be put away that I haven't put away yet, but I did put away two full loads. Like that's amazing. And I vacuumed the bedroom. I look at Malcolm just being a good boy. He, I always tell him to get on the bed because he gets scared of the vacuum and he just stays still. And he's so cute. Oh, I give him love. Of course, he's the cutest. Oh, and also I have to show you guys this. Yep. That's gross, right? Disgusting. How gross was that? Ugh. We need to... I vacuum our bedroom all the time. This, all the shedding dogs and all the shedding humans in this apartment, it is impossible to not have dog fur everywhere. If you are considering getting a dog, just know. Your whole life will be covered in dog fur. If you accept that about your existence, you will be fine. If you do not accept that about your existence, you will not be happy with a dog, okay? But I claimed, I just decided long ago when I adopted Malcolm when I was 21, I'm 26, I'm almost 27 right now. I just realized, you know, I have a forever friend sitting right there always with me, but I will always be covered in dog fur. And that's okay. That's the sacrifices that we make. And that's all I have to say about having a dog. He's the best. Okay, friends, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope this gave you some cleaning inspiration. I feel way better um, now that I cleaned up the apartment a little bit. Obviously, it's the next day, um, and I've been cleaning this morning and stuff. So I wanted to include that in this cleaning vlog with you guys. So just took a little bit of time to get my life in order. And let me know down below if you cleaned with me or if this gave you inspiration. Thanks for, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.